Hello guys, welcome to our channel CSE Concepts with Parinta. In this video, we are going to see some important topics like loop invariant computation and scope strength reduction. We are going to see these two topics in very detail. I will uh, tell you the examples, I will tell you the definition, we will learn the concepts that how they are used, why they are used. So basically these two topics, they come under code optimization. Fine. Whenever you want to optimize your code, we can use loop invariant computation or scope strength reduction. So with the help of different examples, we will get a clear idea in this video that what these two are. Before starting the video, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe the channel. And if you like my videos, then please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section because these are the things that keeps me motivated to make more and more content for you people. So first of all, let's see what is loop invariant computation. Now before knowing what is loop invariant computation, it is important for you to know what is invariant code. So what is invariant code? Invariant code is a fragment of code that resides in the loop and computes same value at each iteration. Fine. It computes same value at each iteration. This code can be moved out of the loop by saving it to be computed only once rather than with each iteration. So in simple definition, what they are telling that whenever we are having any loop, let's say for loop, while loop, whatever it is, whenever we are having any loop and inside the loop, if there is any fragment of code that is always giving us constant value, fine. Uh, in every iteration, we are evaluating that and it is always giving us constant value. So what we can do instead of putting that uh, that piece of code inside the loop we can if it is giving constant value anyhow we can uh, put that piece of code outside the loop so that what will happen instead of evaluating every time with every iteration of code it will be evaluated only once so in this way we can save a lot of time and memory fine so this is how loop invariant computation works now, what is induction variable? It is also important term. See, inv invariant code, induction variable, scope strength reduction. These are actually very important terms uh, with respect to your exams also for your academics or if you are preparing for any uh, competitive exam like GATE, uh, ISRO, BARC, any PSU exam. Then also these uh, terms are actually very important and questions are being asked from these terminologies also. Fine. So, I hope you understood what is loop invariant computation. Now what is induction variable? A variable is called an induction variable if its variable is altered within the loop, if its variable is altered within the loop by a loop invariant value. So this loop invariant computation, invariant code and induction variable are related with each other. Now with the help of example, I will uh, explain you the whole thing and you will get a better idea. Now first let's see what is scope strength reduction. So there are expressions that consume more CPU cycles, time and memory. Fine. So these expressions should be replaced with cheaper expressions without compromising the output of expression. So what is scope strength reduction? Scope strength reduction says that in your code, if there are any expensive expressions, what are expensive expressions? The expressions that need much memory and uh, many CPU cycles, they are expensive expressions. Uh, the example of expensive expressions are multiplication, division, etc. So if your uh, code is containing many expensive expressions, what you can do is you can optimize the code by replacing those expressions with the cheaper expressions. And how we can do that? Here see the example. Let's say x multiplication by 2 is expensive because as I told multiplication division these are expensive expression. So if you are having x cross 2 it is expensive in terms of CPU cycles then x left shift 1 and both yields the same result. So what you can do whenever you are having x cross 2 in your code you can replace it with x left shift 1. Got it? So in this way um, 
we in in place of multiplication you can replace the multiplication with left shift similarly you can replace division with right shift right you must be knowing these things so in this way expensive expressions can be replaced with cheaper expressions and so your code will be optimized fine this is how you can do scope strength reduction now if we see the example of loop invariant computation so see here let's say uh, one this example code is given to you here we are having one integer i equal to 0 here one while loop is there uh, while i is less than n x equal to y plus z a of i equal to 2 multiplied by i plus x into x and then we are having plus plus i so this is a piece of code given to us what we need to do here is we want to uh, perform loop invariance computation and we want to optimize this code so see in a very simple term we can say that here we are having while loop inside the loop you can see here x equal to y plus z this is a constant expression because the value of y and z are not changing so x equal to y plus z is a constant expression so instead of writing this expression inside the while loop you can take this outside the while loop so see you can this is the code this is a revised code where we have already applied loop invariant computation so what we have done we have taken this expression here here do do uh, do loop is there outside the loop we have taken this expression similarly expression of x is already outside so this x cross x this can also be computed outside so this t1 is equal to x cross x this is also computed outside so these two expensive expressions that is addition and multiplication that were that was earlier inside the loop now we have taken them outside the loop and so in this way we have optimized our code fine so this is how we have optimized our code and after this optimized code in this optimized code also if you want to optimize it further what you can do further strength reduction can remove the multiplication so again two star i is there inside the loop so what you can do is instead of this you can again apply strength reduction and instead of multiplication as i explained you here instead of multiplication you can use left shift there fine so in this way loop invariant computation works where we are taking the variables we are taking the computation fine we are taking the computations outside the loop wherever possible so here see x cross s or y plus z these expressions were uh, taking place in this code n number of times fine um, if the while loop is going on for 100 iterations, these operations were also taking place for 100 times. But in this case, what, ha what will happen? That no matter how many times this loop will revolve, but these operations will be taking place only once. And the output of these both of these codes will be same. So that is the beauty of this technique that with much less memory and much less cpu cycles you can perform the same thing by applying little logic fine so in this way with the help of scope strength reduction and loop invariant computation you can optimize your code up to a great extent fine so I hope these two topics that usually students think that are very difficult but now it is clear to you with the help of definition, concept and example. We have seen these examples, we have seen these topics. I hope it is very clear to you. In case you still have any doubt, you can always ask in the comment section. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and share it with all your friends and classmates. Thank you so much.